Yo, in this video, I'm going to go over some tactics, some uh, positioning, some effective skills that you can use against this ATST walker that's uh, not so commonly used as it was in the beginning, but still used. And it can be very annoying if you don't know how to defend it. So uh, this is for the players that uh, have trouble every now and then when you go against some ATST walkers. I'm going to show you how to use the, the right amount of energy, when to use it. Um, how to position your units and your leaders as well. So um, it's going to be involving some leaders that I used um, for simulation were uh, Baze, um, the Anakin, 40th Anniversary Luke, Ray, and um, some Lando as well. So, some Lando's going to get up in there. I'm going to show you guys different decks, but there's a few units that you're always going to have to have. Um, and they're not units that you need to incorporate in your deck just for this because it's not commonly used as it was. But just everyday units that you already use for light side. So I'm going to go over that. And also I want to give credit to uh, Farm Walker and Agnaria that helped me with the simulation to get this video out. So uh, big thanks to you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into our first scenario. And I'll walk you through um, how to effectively counter the ATST Walker slow push. Also wanted to mention that these are friendly. So all the levels are going to be equal and fair matches to get a better understanding of it so the atst drops right in the back you got some 200 b1 droids coming in but look at the atrts coming in the back from 40 anniversary luke um, he's going to drop there and he's going to deal with that sand trooper because you know the sand trooper is coming out but look how the 40 anniversary luke goes in there and deals with the sand trooper there it is now there's the backdoor cheese all atst walkers want to go ahead and just get that backdoor cheese going then ion grenade deals with that Look at how he stays aggressive on this lane. That's the main thing. You want to stay aggressive on the same lane that the ATST is coming. Um, don't slow push unless you don't have a good hand. But right there, you see him. He took a turret, and that's game time right there with only a little damage done to his other turret from those uh, First Order Stormtroopers. So that's the first scenario. All right, so in this video, right off the bat, the walker gets dropped instantly, and you're going to see the ATR disappear. Now, this means any any heavy tanky units you can drop right away do it because if you drop light units chances are with a three to four energy that he has left from just wasting on the walker guess what he's going to use the bomber if he's got boba fed he's going to use a slave one he's going to take out all those light units so you want to drop heavy atrts or anything heavy to deal with that instant atst walker push and you can see right now um callus is retreating actually he just died and he didn't go ahead and take this turret so uh this is how you deal effective this is one way you deal effectively with the instant atst drop all right, so changing course here, we have Boba Fett with the walker and Anakin as the leader defending the walker push. Again, ATST getting dropped in the back, ATRT. So again, you had to bring him up close from the back, get him in there and meet halfway. So with Anakin, it's a bit different because he has a lot of HP. So he can technically tank a lot of damage. You want to get in there and attack Boba Fett, be aggressive as possible. And you can see Anakin will die here, but look at them ATRTs. They almost have full health still, and that walker has no support. So again, being aggressive, this time with Anakin, you're going to have a lot more of a tanky leader to deal with. Um, by that time, it's too late. Drop a T-70 also, but it didn't necessarily kill the turret, but it did a lot of damage. And that is really good considering the Boba Fett and ATST Walker is the deadliest combo in the game when you're running an ATST Walker deck. All right, this one's a little different. So you know that he has an ATST Walker in his deck. So he's going to go ahead and drop an ATRT, which you can do. If you know that they, most of the energy is being invested in ATST, you can drop and be aggressive also right off the bat. Don't wait for the slow push. As you can see, he had to emergency drop that ATST to kind of tank the damage. But in the end, he failed because that spider was way in the back. So, and also look at the partisan doing work. Another great unit to defend against the walkers. Mainly when they try to drop a B1 or the B1 units to uh, to take out your ATRTs. That partisan sitting behind your ATRT walkers will deal damage and kill them maybe within two shots. So another thing to consider as well. All right, so Baze was kind enough to show us how to successfully bait an AoE drop. So as you can see, the ATR just get dropped right in the barrier. They're not going anywhere. The Assassin Spider is going to keep them there. But wait for this bomber to drop. There's the bomber. Boom, there's the three clone troopers. The four clone troopers with three energy cost getting dropped. The Deoxysin is going to kill them right away. So you can see that walker gets melted instantly. There's the counterattack. So in a sense, don't throw all your eggs in one basket. Wait and see what your opponent does. You know they're going to be running an AoE. So once they drop that AoE, whether it's a, uh, a bomber or a sand trooper, deal with it and then drop your light units so that you can successfully pull a counter off. All right, so here we got Baze again with the same player, but this time the ATST is getting dropped in the back. So changing strategies, you can see the ATRTs went straight away. Didn't wait, didn't get dropped in the back instantly because you know that after they dropped the Assassin Spider, Really didn't have much energy to play with. Um, that's all right. You got the first order of stormtroopers, but you got Bays right there in the thick of things, and he's gonna get some support, as you can see right there. You got support coming in, so you can die with Bays. But look at the damage to his turret, and uh, 
that walker's not even going to get a tick off. I don't think so. You get, you get one shot off. But that's a great way to just right away, don't wait for that, that walker to come in. And also go in with your leader, put in some work, and also have, you have two energy cost units that can assist you in the event that you die, like, just like you saw. So um, always have a backup. If you're going to rush in there with your leader, always have a backup plan to have some units to uh, to support that counterattack. All right, and this one is a Boba Fett player going up against a Finn. And we're going to go over distracting Boba Fett and uh, forcing him to play units and just kind of taking his mind off the initial slow walker push. So as you can see, number one, there's a distraction, a gunk droid. He's going to have to keep an eye on it. Obviously, he's going to have to play something on that side. Um, three energy cost uh, clone troopers to kind of help that. Not really losing much. Um, they're going to die anyways, but you're distracting Boba Fett. So right here, you see the ATR just got dropped. Uh, he's going to drop his slave one to deal with that um, heavy gunner but there you go that gunk droid is still there so he's still got to go back and that's the key point is you got to learn how to distract your players and then forget about make them forget about the ATSC drop as you can see it's failed already and now he has three energy he's a retreat he's got to grab health uh, and he's in a really tough position right now because there come the ATST walkers did a good job of kiting enough damage to get them first order riot troopers off but look at that turret it's gone again because he was distracting Boba Fett he was able to get them resistant troopers off and almost lose a turret in the process. So that's another thing you want to um, you want to do when you're playing against Boba Fett is learn to distract him and drop units on both lanes. All right, for those of you that don't use an ATRT, I'm going to show you how this Lando player was able to successfully hold off a level five Callus and his ATSC. So he's rocking a swarm units as you can see, pulling a bunch of units on the left side, leaded by his unique. Now he's going to give up this turret as you can see. Callus is just putting in massive DPS on that turret, and that walker finally went down. But look at all the units that Lando has. Um, he's dead, but so Callus just died right now. I'm going to show you the next highlight that goes into the uh, conclusion of this match. All right, so here I'm going to show you the conclusion of the match. As you can see, his turret is almost done. Well, midway done. He just invested seven energy to take to win this match. Essentially, now this Lando player is going to position his units perfectly to deal and melt this ATST. So now that his seven energy that he invested to win the match has failed, he's off to the races at this point. You have to make him pay. Do not let up. Put your foot on the gas pedal and drop your units because he's not going to have enough at the end of the day to deal with all your units if you're placing him correctly. So you can drop that gunship. But as you can see, he had two, two Wookiees and more units get dropped immediately after the AoE. So what he did is he expected the AoE, then drop more. This is going to be too late because that first order trooper, look at those units for Christ's sake. So you don't want to let up if you're rocking a deck that's just swarm with no ATRTs in your deck. And you can see that Lando player executed it beautifully. All right. And last, I'm going to show you Ray defending an ATST um, with the mind turn. Without the mind turn, it really doesn't matter. But there you see the heavy gunner rolling in ATST saying, move out of my way. I'm finna do some work. Um, just going all in on that left side, leaving that poor walker by itself because not even there yet. That 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 40 anniversary Vader just got destroyed. So that walker's gonna have to deal with some resistant troopers that are gonna just melt it instantly. Their turret is gone. So with Ray, as you just gotta be super aggressive. If you have the mind turn, if you have the mind turn, it's even worse. So uh um that's probably the worst nightmare for any player rocking the ATSD in their deck, going up against a Ray player that knows what they're doing. All right, in this clip, it's going to show you how to trick and lure and kind of bait your opponent into coming out and dealing with the demolitionist, or in this case, the heavy gunner. So you can see 40, 40 Anniversary Vader is going to come out and try to deal with them. He's not even going to kill him, but he's going to get a Sand Trooper off, which is going to get mine turned by Ray. But um, that's another thing. It's another tactic. They're dropping seven energy to deal with your turret. So if you kind of bait them out with a demolitionist or a heavy gunner, they're going to panic and try to deal with it. Specifically, if it's a main drop like that, they're not going to have any energy for AoE. So that's another thing to consider. All right, so at the end of the day, um, this is the type of deck you expect to see. You're going to expect to see the ATSD, of course, which is the whole point of the video, but the Assassin Spider, a stun, the Bladesman, the Slave One, the Sand Trooper, and the Rocket Trooper in some cases. Now, I picked this player, Flabby Buns, because he is the best Boba Fett player right now ranked. And that's pretty much how it works. I mean, if you're a Boba Fett player and you want to get good at using ATSD, what do you do? You go and you copy a deck of a player that's just putting in massive work. So, with that being said, with the tactics that we discussed, you want to make sure you look out for these units uh, the next time you run into an ATST deck and you see that slow push and try to execute the tactics and see how it works for you. Um, now, I know that there's a lot of things that I missed. There's some things that may work for you that I didn't point out that I didn't address. So feel free to let in the comments. Um, let us know what you're doing and what you're using because you never know. Someone might click on this video and might not see the answer they're looking for. 
but they might read your comment and I'll pin your comments and I'll, um, I'll, I'll you know, put them up there so that they can see. So uh, yeah, hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.